It's Earth Day tomorrow, and to mark the occasion, the Sea Aquarium at Resorts World Sentosa is partnering with the National Youth Council to get young people more involved in protecting the oceans. Now, for a closer look, we're joined by Joyce Tan from Resorts World Sentosa Sea Aquarium to tell us more about this. So, Joyce, COVID-19 has certainly changed the way many organizations work, yourselves included. In what ways has the Sea Aquarium, is it reinventing how it reaches out to the public, especially during this period when physical interactions are just not possible? Yeah, so for the Sea Aquarium, unfortunately, during the circuit breaker period, uh, we are temporarily closed. So our education programs and our outreach programs, they are also suspended for now. We are definitely looking at new ways as to how we can engage the public. Recently, uh, we have been approached by National Youth Council, specifically their Youth Corps Singapore Arm, to do a collaboration with them. So currently, they have this program called the K Tariq Goes Online program, where they will share, um, they will spread social awareness among their viewers. So tomorrow onwards, this is a three-day event that they will be doing. Uh, they will be talking more about environmental sustainability, and the first day will be with Sea Aquarium, and they will be collaborating with us. Um, as spoken, you know, the theme for tomorrow's Earth Day is on climate action. And we feel that Sea Aquarium, we have a lot of relevant content that we are able to share uh, how the ocean is uh, affected by climate change. So we are very happy to say that we have been working very closely with the youth volunteers from YCS and we have been coming up with the content. They have been changing, uh, creating the content and putting it into infographic form, editing the videos for us because they have the expertise to put it in a way that is engaging and also youth-centric for their viewers. So Joy, saying all that, what does the role, what kind of a role does um, the ocean protection play in climate change? So the ocean is a very huge um, area. I mean, it covers a large area on our Earth. And there are many places in the ocean, such as the seagrass habitats, the mangrove habitats that serves as a carbon sink. So these areas are areas where they are able to absorb uh, carbon, specifically carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, and store it in the ocean. That's why uh, I think we feel that uh, tomorrow will be a very good day to then spread the awareness on how we can protect the ocean, which uh, helps slow down climate change. And speaking of climate change, we understand that there are also some misconceptions about it uh, that are going to be covered in part of the digital content that you're going to be rolling out. Uh, tell us some of these misconception, misconceptions that you're trying to debunk. Yes, so um, that will be the start of the content for tomorrow. So we will hit it off with how, uh, what is climate change because I think, and I think the team also feels that there is a lot of people who think that uh, global warming is equivalent to climate change. However, climate change is definitely a change in long term, uh, long term in change in the weather patterns in a global sense. And Global warming is just a subset of climate change. I mean, there is more that encompasses climate change. All right. Many thanks for speaking to us this evening. Joyce Tan from Resorts World Sentosa, a Sea Aquarium Unit. All the best.